good morning. So today is day nine of my Whole30 and everything is going great so far. So I thought I would just share with you guys what I was gonna eat today um, and also some of the food I'm going to prep. I have some long day of long days of classes coming up. I have, I think, I think there's seven hour days of all class with very little breaks. So I'm gonna have to prep all my food for those days. So I'll show you guys what I'm gonna prep and I'll also show you what I'm eating today. So I'm about to head to the gym right now. I think I'm gonna have a quick smoothie and I'll show you guys what I'm going to have in that smoothie. Technically on Whole30, you're not supposed to have smoothies as a, um, you know, a treat or as a meal replacement because it's so sweet and it has so many fruits. But this one's actually not very sweet. I think the only fruit I'll put in it is banana. And I just don't really feel like eating spinach right now. So I thought I'd just throw it in the smoothie, almond milk, almond butter, banana, and then I'm going to go to the gym. And as a quick body update, I've actually gotten a lot leaner throughout this week. I'm feeling very flat. I'm having little to no stomach issues. Focus. And I'm feeling great. Physique is feeling great. Okay, so here's what we have going into the smoothie. I'm gonna take lots of spinach and I put that at the bottom. About half of a frozen banana. I'm gonna put in one date just for a little bit of sweetness. And then I'm also gonna put, put in about a tablespoon of almond butter. And then I'm going to fill it with almond milk. So this is quite good. I'm just put some cinnamon on top. I'm gonna to have this and then I'm gonna have some more water and head to the gym. So for lunch, I ended up having some leftover chicken zoodle soup and the recipe is from inspiralize.com and it is absolutely delicious. Dinner was this delicious homemade pot roast, which I made in the crock pot. The recipe was from the Whole30 cookbook with a side of mashed potatoes made with ghee and steamed broccoli. And we both really liked this. It was super satisfying and delicious. I wanted to give you guys kind of a lowdown on the kind of things that I bought at the grocery store. And these, these are all Whole30 and they're all paleo as well. Um, so we have some canned salmon and canned tuna. We have some ground chicken, cucumber, mushrooms, almond butter, avocados, so green apples for snacks, and I put them in my sausage as well. Some butternut squash, um, eggs, lettuce, celery, and these are just a few ingredients that I got just to prepare some lunches and breakfasts for this week as I go to school. So let's see what I'm gonna make. First step I, here, I'm going to make some chicken breakfast sausages. And this is quite an interesting recipe. I don't know if it's for everyone, but it's definitely worth a try because I think it's really delicious and it's great just to heat up in the morning for a quick breakfast. So I have one green apple and I'm gonna chop that and actually put it into the sausage. And I have some spices, I have cinnamon, salt, I have a little bit of pumpkin pie spice and pepper. And if you, it's not really a sweet sausage, it does have the um, cinnamon taste. So again, if you like cinnamon, then you'll probably like this breakfast sausage. So let's see how we do this. So I've gone ahead and small diced the apple and I'm gonna add it into the sausage. And it's just plain ground chicken, it's actually not sausage. And I'm gonna start adding some seasonings. So like I said, I'm gonna use some cinnamon just however much you like. I probably use about a teaspoon of each seasoning. A little bit of the pumpkin pie seasoning. And lastly, some pepper and some pink salt. And I'm just gonna mix it all together. So here's what the mixture looks like after it's all mixed. And you just form these little patties like this. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a test one just to make sure the seasoning's right before I fry up all of them. 
And you can probably bake these, but I'm actually just going to pan fry them in some olive oil. So I went ahead and just olive oiled the pan, and now here is my first test sausage patty. So my next part of prep was just a big salad, which I'm gonna portion out for lunches. And it's just romaine, cucumber, and onion. And on the day that I'm gonna eat the salad, I'm gonna top it with avocado, I'm gonna top it with some olives, and some either canned tuna or canned salmon, and red wine vinegar, salt and pepper, and it's gonna be a little bit of like a Greek salad. And that's for on the go when I'm running to class. Okay, so I'm on my way to class, so I wanted to show you guys what I was taking. It's pretty early in the morning, but I have the salad. Here I have the um, avocado and the canned salmon and the olives, which I just dressed with some lemon juice. I have an orange. I have a vinaigrette with oregano, garlic, salt, red wine vinegar, and olive oil. And then I have an RX bar just in case I get hungry and I have some espresso there and I'm ready to go to class. Okay, so just a quick wrap up to this video. I hope you really enjoyed it and please let me know anything that you'd like to see or what you think about my videos, that would be great. I hope you found some inspiration and you found it helpful. Thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe, I have a new video coming up really soon so if you guys would like to see that go ahead and subscribe to me so you can get a notification when my new video comes out thanks guys